Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is the Bitter Gardener. And I wanted to do a quick video on the tomato plant that I picked up today. And this is the Cherokee Purple. Now, um, I want to give a special thanks to Little Beans Garden and Garden Love for inspiring me to pick this plant up. I've always heard good things about this variety. For whatever reason, I've never picked it up or bought it bought any of the seeds or anything like that but after watching their videos this past week i decided to pick it up so um hopefully it will do well down here in north florida we don't get any cold weather until the end of december early january so we have more than enough time for it to grow as big as it wants to get and uh produce as many purple tomatoes as uh as it wants and I think that's going to be pretty cool to have like, you know, tomatoes with a purple tint to them. And also I heard they're very, very, very tasty. So I'm really excited to see what they look like and what they taste like. So wish me luck. Uh, hopefully they'll do well. Now on to the second part of the video. Today I came over here to actually pull some weeds and I'm out here working. I'm out here working and my dad comes outside and he's like, Hey, did you get that worm off of your tomato plant? And I'm like, huh? What worm? And he's like, yeah, there was a worm on there this morning. And so we walk over to the tomato plant, the, my other tomato plant, of course. And um, we walk over to it and we're looking at it, we're looking at it, we're looking at it. And, and we can't see it, but we couldn't find it. And at the last second, my dad spotted it. And of course it was a tomato horn worm. And uh, when we went to pull it off, he was like, hey, just be careful. You know, it has a worm, it has a horn on it. So, you know, you gotta be careful with that thing. And that thing was tearing my tomato plant up. And when I came over here this morning, you know, I had, you know, I came over here to pull weeds. So that was the only thing on my mind. So I walked right past the tomato plant and didn't even pay any attention to it because I came over here to pull weeds. So we pull it off, we throw it on the concrete. I we walk over we walk a little ways away from it and then i come back to get my camera to uh do a video on the other tomato plant and the horn worm was gone so i'm hoping and wishing that a bird came and got it there's actually a bird nest maybe 10 or 11 feet away from where i threw the turn the uh the tomato horn worm so hopefully they got to it and it didn't like you know run off somewhere and it's coming back tonight and this is actually the tomato that it was chewing on when we saw it. And I've never seen them chew on green tomatoes, but a tomato hornworm will eat the whole plant, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Because usually, whenever I've seen a tomato hornworm, you know, they, they usually attack the tomatoes that are, are red, that are starting to turn red, or starting to mature. But this one was going after a green one, a small green one at that. So, as you can see, it was going to town. And another crazy thing is it didn't want to let go. It, when it was on the tree and we were pulling it off, like it really had a hold to it. Like we actually had to like pull it, actually had to pull it off, which is crazy. But anyways, um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you see a tomato hornworm on your plants, get it off immediately because that thing will destroy your tomato plant. Don't give it a chance. Um, don't give it a chance to go and hide. If you see it, whenever you see it, don't like go inside and come back outside like get it off right then and there because that thing will destroy your tomato plant and it will blend right in with your tomato plant too so once again back to the cherokee purple tomato hopefully it will do well here and wish me luck all right youtube as always if you like the videos make sure you like comment and subscribe and until next time this is the video gardener